These are Kung Fu Shaolin masters. Probably the most impressive people on earth. And this is me. But today, I decided to try seven of their most impossible skills with absolutely no idea what's gonna happen. Skill number one, the one inch punch. The last time we tried, I almost destroyed my hand. And only after I got it, I realized I pulled my arm back. This time, I'm gonna get it right. I got four boards from easy to really hard. And I'm gonna try to break all of them. Board number one. No problem with that. And even the second level was way too easy. Let's try level number three. I feel like this should be pretty hard. But I destroyed it. So it was finally time to try the real challenge. Last board. This is way harder than the red one. How do I know that? Because I tried a jumping knee on it and literally nothing happened. Let's try it. I started to focus. Then I punched as hard as I could and nothing happened. Then again and again. And every single time I felt I was hurting my head and I was slowly losing confidence. But then this happened. I was freaking out. I finally did it. Or at least that's what I thought. I swear, I thought I had it. But I pulled my arm back just a little bit. Gotta try again. And that's exactly what I did for like 20 minutes. I wanted to get it. So I kept trying over and over. My fist is starting to hurt like crazy. But after a while, my body forced me to stop. I'm destroying my hand once again. <laughs> I want to get a super clean one without pulling my hand back. But I gotta rest my hand for a while, guys. Like, <laughs> it hurts <laughs> so much. <sighs> we got five skills left. I want to try at least a few of them. Then we're gonna get back to this one. I'm gonna break that board. Blowing out a candle with a punch. Balancing balls full of water for 60 seconds. hurting so bad. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, my legs. Oh. Yes, Kodo. At this point, I was excited, but I knew the hardest skills were still ahead of me. And before trying the one inch punch again, I decided to attempt a terrible one. Skill four, the aerial. If you don't know me, I got a bad relationship with flips. I'm not gonna let that stop. Me. An aerial is basically a cartwheel with no hands. And honestly, I wasn't even too good at that. But I decided to try the aerial anyways. If I wanted to get it, I had to change strategy. So I watched the tutorial and I found four steps to follow that should be able to help me get the aerial. The first step is a cartwheel. I kinda get that. The second step is a cartwheel landing further away with your hands. And after a while, I got confident with that too. All right, third step forgot the third step. The third step is kicking with the back foot, which basically allows you to do a faster cartwheel. And after trying for a while, I moved to the last step, removing the hands. Ooh. And that has been pretty hard, Ooh. especially because I was extremely scared and I kept touching the ground with one hand. It's a brain fight, I guess. I need to force myself to remove the, the hand. And the only solution to face your fears is throwing yourself, literally. Ooh. I didn't use my hand though. Which is great. And you know what? It's maybe because I learned a lot of stuff in the past years. Even if I was struggling, I knew that if I simply kept trying without giving up, I was gonna get it. Oh. And after failing 50 times, I actually got it. Let's go. <laughs> I was happy for the area, but I had the hardest and scariest skills left. And I had no physical or mental energy left for them. Shaolin monks do incredible things, and they never seem to get tired or hurt. And do you know how they do that? Through practice and meditation. I just read that. And so, I decided to try. My sister recommended me an app called Headspace, which is basically the number one meditation app in the world. And so I just threw myself in it. And I started from the very beginning. Lesson number one. I didn't know what to expect, to be honest, or how I'd react to it. But a friendly guy told me to slowly close my eyes, start feeling my surroundings, warm light, sounds, my breath. And after five minutes, I opened my eyes and I was actually changed. I was feeling better, energized, relaxed, and I couldn't wait to try it again. Headspace is offering you 30 days for free to try Try meditation yourself. More on that later. But in the meantime, let's go punch a few boards. I was pumped. So it was time to try the one inch punch once again. I realized that I kept hitting the side of the board and never in the middle. But what if I keep my fingers here and I hit in the middle? Let's try it. And even if I kept failing, giving up was not an option. And then this happened. First, I'm gonna check it. And after checking it, I realized this time it was perfect. My arm hurts so much, but there is no better thing 
than not giving up and achieving something you want. Yes, go boys. Yes, go. I had two skills left, the monkey stick trick and the hardest one on the list. Skill number six. It's one of the most difficult techniques in all Shaolin Kung Fu. And to make things worse, I couldn't find the proper monkey stick anywhere. So I was using tubes, but it didn't matter. The goal is placing both feet on the stick, let go with the hands and catching the stick before it hits the ground. I started practicing on the sand, but I quickly figured this only made things harder. And one of the sticks broke right away. Fast forward two painful hours of practice and I basically made no improvement. I literally have no idea how this works. I think I need to improve improve the grip with my right foot because every single time, as soon as I let the stick go with my hand, I fell. I was completely stuck. I tried everything and everywhere and absolutely nothing happened. But you know how it works. Giving up is never an option. And even if I was struggling with this one and I still had the scariest skill left, I felt like meditating every single morning was helping me out. I used to wake up rushing into all the daily tasks, feeling stressed sometimes and for sure not enjoying life. And now I was literally doing the opposite. I started to feel simply better all day, happier and even more determined. That's why I will never go back. I will keep meditating. And I will also keep using Headspace because it's genuinely great. No matter how you feel right now in your life, just give it a try. Now, it's time to get the monkey stick trick. The reason I couldn't hold the previous sticks up with my foot is because they were too thick. This one is thinner and indestructible, so it should work, hopefully. Anyways, I started trying once again, but unfortunately, at the beginning, nothing changed. I kept trying though, then watching tutorials, then trying and failing again. It literally felt impossible. My chin is getting destroyed. The more I tried, the more my chin was hurting. But then, randomly, something clicked. I think I need to place this foot higher, and then we're gonna get it. That made an insane difference right away. And attempt after attempt, I kept getting better. I swear this felt literally impossible. I was trying like five minutes ago and I was even thinking about giving up because of how hard it is. And now I'm getting super close. It's literally magic. Yes, go, let's do it. And after two hours of practice with pain all over my leg, I actually got it. Let's go. At this point, I had one skill left. Skill number seven. This is by far the hardest one of the list. I am not even sure if this is possible because the only reference I have is from a 14 year old video. The challenge consists in breaking a watermelon using two fingers. That's insane. The 14 year old video could be totally fake and I could totally break my fingers. And because of that, I was really scared, but I knew I couldn't try slowly. If I wanted to get it, I had to fully commit. I'm kind of scared. I know I need to try at 100% if I wanna break it. I really don't wanna break my fingers so. But I knew the only option I had was just try it. I literally have no idea what's gonna happen to him and no. to my fingers. No. <laughs> and even if I was laughing there, I was extremely worried inside. But somebody said the only thing to do something is doing it. And so I did it. And against all odds, I have no idea how, I actually broke it at the first attempt. We could not believe it. Isn't it crazy? Sometimes the hardest things are only hard in our minds. Anyways, if you like this video, I think you like this one too. Go check it out.